tonight folks we're going to be starting some pepper plants uh, we've got several different packs here most of them is bell peppers we don't raise hot peppers no more our stomachs just can't handle it um, we've got some canary bell always california wonder here's some other california wonders here different brand uh purple beauty we've never had these before and then this here is just an assortment of different colors uh, we got our banana peppers this is some seeds that we saved from last year and then my son he bought these online going to try them see how they turn out let's get started what we usually do first we'll keep a little notebook of what is what and what I, how I do that I'll just take a paint marker and on each cell pack put a one a two three four five six and then over here we'll do the same thing seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then my wife will take and write down what number one is that way we can come back and look um, it'll dry real quick and that's how we keep up with our seeds we're starting the peppers this year probably a week maybe 10 days earlier than what the tomatoes just because of the fact that peppers take a little bit longer to germinate we're going to start this year we're going to start our tomatoes in the greenhouse in a waterbed thing that i come up with that video should be up already um, and how that's going to work i just took a waterbed heater from a waterbed that you used to be able to well you can still sleep on um, put that underneath a layer of plastic put water in it and we'll start off with a higher temperature to get the seeds germinated and then we'll back that temperature back down to about 70 degrees just so we found we first started doing this if you use a heat mat and we will be using a heat mat on these here on these peppers but we'll be starting them in the bathroom in here inside the house um, if you leave the heat mat on too long they'll really bolt they'll take off and get real leggy I mean it's just and the first year we did that that's what happened so just experience is the best teacher and if we come across something that doesn't work we'll let you all know to where that's something you all ain't got to experience you'll learn it from us um, let's get started okay folks here is our seed starting mix I believe this year we're trying sun grow I believe is the name of it there uh, we'll have a link in the description for what brand we was using and it's gonna be a little different we're just trying this this is the first time we've ever tried this brand okay let's load up the tray just take a tray set it down in here it's a real light airy mix which is what you want for seedlings there our little girl she's a helping us checking to see what we're doing here just get that up there running across like this I want to push it down pack it in a little bit in the seed trays there hi honey yeah
this soil was already a little bit damp if you the soil start mix that you're using if it's a little dry go ahead and add you some water to it because it will help hydrate it and everything there okay and as you can tell we usually do this outside but for filming purposes here we're doing it in the house we have a trash bag opened up on the table so I don't make a big mess which more than likely will happen anyway that's just trying to help prevent it some all right uh, yeah folks it was sun grow black gold it's seedling mix uh, supposed to be real good for germination okay let's get started alrighty what we're going to use is just a simple pencil about the length there of your eraser that's about a quarter of an inch that's what we're going to be planting the pepper seeds at you don't want to go too deep uh, they won't have enough energy to sprout up uh, the larger the seed the deeper you can plant them because the bigger the seed the more energy it has stored up for sprouting up out of the ground and you want to make sure you get it planted deep enough if you don't plant them deep enough a lot of times when it comes up your sprout will still have the seed hole on it where it's not shed it off if you plant it around the right depth it should as it comes up out of the dirt it should you know shed itself of the seed hull and what we'll do we're going to put start two seeds per cell and let's get started just push it down about a quarter of an inch there I'm just going from corner to corner in the cell that should keep it spread apart there alrighty let's plant these this is going to be a number one Suge you can write down canary bell now let's take it and drop it down in there This is something good to help you relax. Hard day at work, frustrations. Just come home, play in the dirt. Alrighty, now what we'll do, just take your finger, just tuck the little seeds in here. and then hopefully we'll be seeing them here before long we'll go on to the next one
Got it on our heating mat here. I can feel it is starting to warm up. We've used this several seasons now. Most of the time we'll have four trays sitting across this here, turned like this. But this year, like I said, we're just starting the peppers in the house and gonna be doing the tomatoes outside in the greenhouse. Um, but what we'll do, the water is down good. Pick this little fella here up at the dollar store, five dollars. Works real good. Yeah, Dollar General. If y'all got any questions, leave it down in the comments. Nothing happens, folks. In a few weeks, we will be having a seed giveaway. Um, it's going to be heirloom seeds. It's seeds that we've saved. Uh, they're old-timey Appalachian seeds. Uh, they're real good. And then also, some Indian corn my son saved from last year seeds there that we grew. And we'll be giving more details of that in up and coming weeks. Just get this water real good. Then what we'll do, set this to the side. Take your little dome, humidity dome. Set that over there. And what we generally do is just lay a grow light right on top of this here to, for when they get started. And We'll film that later on. Thank you all for watching.